What's going on guys, Roger here with QBO Tactical. Today we are excited to bring you a video on a product that we have been quiet about for the last few months. Um, you might remember a while back when the Antimatter Industries crew came out here to Vegas to show me their scope switch. Well, it was the same time that they also showed me their antimatter wing. Um, if you're not familiar with this product, that is because it was just released this week on Wednesday. If you are familiar, it is most likely because it is what everybody's talking about on Instagram right now. So without further ado guys, let's take a look at the new Antimatter Industries wing. As always, I'd like to tell you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. Um, as stated during the intro, the Antimatter Industries guys came out to visit a couple months back and they brought their new wing product with them. Before leaving, they left me a few to use while they got production squared away. Uh, these were given to me free of charge, guys, to use for this video and for future content, so please keep that in mind as you watch this video. Now, we're gonna jump right into the range footage. However, um, I've already shot many rounds through this setup, um, but Landon, he was out on the range with me and he has not used this new antimatter wing before. So I recorded him shooting his first rounds using it. All right, Landon, first rounds using the antimatter wing. You were trying it out on a Staccato CS with the TLR7 sub. Go for it, bud. Oh, safety. Definitely not used to it, but when I started to find my rhythm, that ledge was just right there and I could definitely see the dot just staying in the center of the target. Let's see. So as usual, anything out of the A zone is definitely me, especially when you're shooting a 2011 like that, but once you find your rhythm with it and you understand where to apply pressure, you'll see that dot just kind of standing right there where it needs to be. Nice. All right, so full-size Staccato P5 inch, one of the OG ones, and the uh, antimatter wing on a Surefire X300. Go for it, bud. All right. So no surprise, I like the full-size gun better. It shoots a lot flatter for me. Um, but then you can definitely start to notice that thing just staying right there with that fiber optic sight. And Happy to say, oh, sh one Charlie, damn it. No, that's a line breaker. That was the same line breaker from the last time. Okay. Cool. So they're all alpha. All alphas. Um, but yeah, if people don't know, running like a big light like that, like an X300, that already helps the gun sit flatter. Right. That and having a gas pedal on the front, every time that muzzle wants to come up, your thumb just, again, applying tension when your mind tells it to, and it's just going to be sitting right there. So that was actually really cool. So I know you got to take off, but there's one more surprise. Now we're going to have you shoot the XC with the wing on it. Cause that's like the best of all worlds. Oh yeah. That's a gamer gun. Let's do it. All right, man. You are now shooting the gun. That is a cheat code. Staccato XC. This is the duty version though. So Staccato P trigger, Staccato P uh, spring and the antimatter uh, wing. Go for it, bud. First impressions, effortless. That's definitely one of those guns, even somebody like myself can look like it has no recoil, because uh, it does. That gun's truly a gamer gun. Everything just went right here. I don't know what works better, the port, the gas pedal, all of it. I think everybody should own an XCO at some point. Fuck, that's crazy. All right, guys, something a little different. Landon has to uh, take off. We can't finish the rest of the range day, but I wanted to have him give his thoughts just on shooting, you know, 15 to 20 rounds through uh, each of the three different guns using the antimatter wing. Landon, go for it, bud. Um, so starting off with the first one, obviously the CS. Uh, the first couple shots were wild on my part because I don't know how to use a gas pedal yet. Uh, that's something a lot of people might kind of fumble with when they first buy the product. But once you shoot a couple rounds, everything starts to level out because you, your brain starts to tell your hand, hey, tighten up a little bit with your left off hand because it can actually do something to mitigate recoil. Um, and then you start to see it even better on a full size Kato P with X300, less recoil, super effective. Not to mention this thing's rigid, like it's got no flex to it. Um, it's, I thought that might be something I have to worry about, but definitely not. And then the most dramatic XC, you're just gonna watch that dot literally stay in the A zone. Um, I found myself actually 
overcompensating, so I threw a couple shots lower in the A zone. Um, and then once again, I found my rhythm. You're gonna see that dot just stay right there on the A. And that's definitely helping. Ports help too, but for something that can go on everybody's holster, because it just folds up away like that, I figure why wouldn't you have it on your gun? All right, guys, like I said, Landon had to take off, but I wanted to get somebody on the range that hasn't uh, shot with the antimatter wing before to give his first thoughts. Uh, Gil and I, Gil's behind the camera, we've actually already shot and used this when the uh, antimatter guys came out uh, a couple months back. They showed us this product, and we got to uh, test it and manipulate it, and they left a few for us to run over the next several months. So I've actually had this for the last couple of months. Uh, I'm just going to shoot. Landon kind of uh, did up our A zone here, so I'm gonna shoot some rounds in the A zone of the head box and just kind of like get a feel for it again and give you guys my thoughts on camera. But I have shot this before, like I said. Um, as you guys saw there, I'm running the QVO Wingman holster and because it does retract up into itself, up into the gun, it is going to holster just fine. No, no having to go out and get a special holster or anything like that. So I'm just gonna shoot five to 10 rounds here and uh, let's see how we're hitting, here we go. Boom, 10 rounds, let's look at the hits. Got almost every single one of them there in the uh, A-Zone head box. I think I threw one, let's see, got, oh, that broke the little, oh, that's the B though. So one, two, three, four Bravos, and then the rest, one, two, three, four, five, six. So um, guys, it does make it very easy to just mitigate the recoil, especially on smaller guns. Like if you guys are running this 365X macros, those are a great shooter already, but then you throw this thing on it. Uh, my Staccato CS, one of my favorite carry guns, um, but then you throw this wing on it and now it's like you can really throw that thumb forward and mitigate that recoil. And instead of like the gun coming up, cycling, coming up and then returning zero at that speed it's more like right there so we'll, we'll shoot in super slow-mo we brought the uh, fancy slow-mo camera out here today to show you guys that so we'll do that here in a bit but um yeah like for you guys out there that have been trying to run different styles of uh, gas pedals that are designed for competition but for like your edc guns this is going to allow you to do it additionally guys um, a lot of agencies aren't going to allow you to modify your actual gun because this is on the weapon light you won't be violating your department policy and you can put this on and we're going to show you here in a second it's going to work with your safari land duty holster so like we said on the range, Landon couldn't stay for the entire range session, but I did want to get his first rounds and his overall thoughts on the antimatter wing, even though he was limited on how much he could shoot and try out. Landon does shoot a lot of competition matches, so it was good to get his thoughts on it as many competition shooters utilize equipment like thumb rests and gas pedals. Now, one of the questions that's been coming up is in regards to holster fitment and potential snagging issues with the holster, especially like duty style holsters. For this reason, I wanted to take some time out on the range utilizing my Safariland ALS holster. All right, guys, so like I said before, uh, I'm already a fan of the product. I've been using it for the last couple of months on my Staccato CS as my carry gun. Um, but I do know there's gonna be questions, I already saw them on Instagram, about like, hey, if you're running in a duty holster, is there a possibility of it snagging on any of the ALS mechanism, stuff like that? So I'm out here, first thing I've done is loaded a regular Surefire X300, so there's no antimatter wing on it. I'm going to run a couple uh, drills just from the draw first rounds on target um, and we'll see what kind of shot times we're getting so i'll do like three or four then i'll switch out the lights and we'll see if there's any difference in the draw time so first couple here we go <sighs> shot that low in the charlie for a 121 let's go again Dead center alpha for a 104, and let's go one more. Oh. Go again, since I snagged there, I don't want that to be part of the uh, average times. And 110. So a 110, a 104, and then I think it was like a 140 something, but the best time was a 104. So I'm gonna switch out the lights for you guys and then hop back up here and uh, we'll see what kind of times we're getting with the wing. All right guys, so now we have the Surefire X300 that has the antimatter wing attached. Um, this is a Turbo B model. Yes, a thumb screw model. We'll talk about it in studio and why you have to use this specific model in conjunction with the antimatter wing. But again, same Safari Land holster, goes right in, no issues there. This is the Safari Land XC holster. We did a full video on this, so if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see what the draw times are like now. I wanna beat a 104, here we go. <sighs> 
just shot low in the C zone for a 102. So we beat it already, but I want to get alphas. Here we go. Stand by. There we go for a 0.94. And let's do one more for fun. Broke the shot left for a 109. So again, guys, for those wondering like, hey, is it gonna work with your duty style holsters? Yes, it does not get hung up on the um, ALS mechanism. And I'll show you guys up close in studio, but the wing folds into itself, or sorry, it folds into the gun as you're reholstering. So it's got an angled cut to it. So as it hits the lip of the holster, it goes up against the side of the frame and tucks it away nicely. So there you go. All right, guys, so while we're on the topic of holsters, if you're one of our awesome customers and you're on the range running your QVO Tactical Secondary OWB holster in your Tiger Stripe Arid Overlay, and you happen to have an X300 with the antimatter wing, you're gonna be good to go. Locks in, clicks in, retains well. You're still gonna be able to come to the range and run your super fast, crazy build drills. <laughs> Woo! For a total of 1.69. Now it's important to note here that we have not had any issues with our own QBO tactical holsters or the Safariland lineup in conjunction with the antimatter wing. Um, I did try utilizing it on a Blackhawk T-Series holster for the Staccato lineup and found that the antimatter wing does get hung up on that particular holster when trying to insert the gun into it. Uh, more on that in just a little bit. Now, one other thing that we do here on the channel to better illustrate our talking points is to film a shooting in super slow motion at 1000 frames per second. So using the Staccato CS with the antimatter wing and the five inch Staccato P that we brought out also with the antimatter wing, I shot two strings of fire. The first string of three rounds was not using the wing and the second string I utilized the antimatter wing so that everybody could see the difference in recoil and how quickly the gun returned back to zero for follow up shots. With me, without me. With me, without me. Now, Gil was also out on the range with us during this first time that we got to check it out earlier this summer when the antimatter guys came out. Um, since that first range session, though, Gil has only used it a couple of times. Therefore, I had him run some drills from concealment as well as some shooting on the move so he could get better reacquainted with this new product. Here's what Gil had to say about the antimatter industry's wing. All right, Gil, so you got to use this a couple months back when the antimatter guys came to visit, but out here on the range, getting some more time with it, what are your overall thoughts? Yeah, guys, so over my overall thoughts with it is honestly, like, the way I'm able to get quicker and follow up shots with it and track the red dot so much easier. Another thing, I just like the aesthetic, it looks super cool, and then, like, it has, like, this textured part on the top, so you can really feel when your thumb's right there. But overall, I mean, I dig it, I like it. 
All right, now that the range portion is over, let's jump into the specs of what you are getting when purchasing the new Antimatter Industries wing. The Antimatter Industries wing is a new product designed for duty use. It is crafted from 7075 T6 aluminum and provides the largest surface area of any type of gas pedal slash thumb rest that I have seen to date. It utilizes a spring-loaded retractable design which keeps it minimal and allows it to be used with most holsters without any type of modifications needed. Currently, it is only offered for right-handed shooters due to how the mechanism is installed onto weapon lights. It is also only offered on the Surefire X300B models, the Streamlight TLR7 Sub 1913 model, and the Streamlight TLR7 Sub for the Glock 43 MOS and 48 MOS versions. The Antimatter Industries website has a list of compatible firearms, so make sure to check their website before purchasing one of these for yourself. Um, earlier on the range, I did mention that you're going to have to utilize the Surefire X300B variant. That is because of the way that the Antimatter Industries wing attaches to the weapon light. It is going to need that receiver piece that the thumb screw goes into in order for it to attach. Now, my overall thoughts on this new offering from Antimatter Industries. Ever since they gave this to me earlier during the summer, um, I have used it on my Staccato CS whenever I'm carrying it. So whenever I've been out on the range training or running drills, I had that thing equipped and I was running it. The only time I took it off was when I was filming because I couldn't show anything until the release date, which was earlier this week. Now, a couple things I wanna talk about. I wanna make it very clear by letting you guys all know that this product is not going to make up for poor fundamentals or a poor grip. If your fundamentals are solid, it's definitely gonna enhance your shooting as it's now giving you a tool allowing for you to apply leverage against the recoil with your thumb. Now, when I first started using it, I did notice that sometimes, especially with compensated firearms, I could end up giving it too much leverage and I would find the gun dipping down. So like I would like, overcompensate what the compensator was doing. So a compensated gun like my Staccato XC is already gonna make the recoil less, but with that in conjunction with it, if you're really like just cranking down on it, you're gonna end up dipping the muzzle down. Now, if you take some time on the range to fire off five to six round strings of fire, you're gonna to start to find that super sweet spot that allows you to easily track the sights or red dot of your firearm. It also allows the gun to return back to zero much quicker, making your follow-up shots much quicker as well. Now, you saw from our range footage that it works with most holsters. Like I said earlier, the only holster I have found that it does not work with is the Black Hawk T-Series for the Staccato. The way that the holster is designed, it ends up catching onto the antimatter wing and it prevents it from collapsing all the way up against the gun so the gun can't seat into the holster. Now, if you manually push in the wing against the frame of the holster with your other hand, then it holsters just fine and it works no problem in regards to coming out freely. Now, if you're somebody like me who runs a thumbs forward grip, then I definitely think that this product is for you. If you are worried about the ease of manipulations in regards to the weapon light controls, they are still very accessible and very easy to get to. While engaging any of the controls on the weapon lights, the wing easily collapses in, getting out of the way with very little pressure from my support thumb as I press onto the weapon light control. Just as with the scope switch, I really think that the Antimatter Industries team really took the time to look at all aspects and considered all of the different variables before putting their products out to market. Uh, for example, with this Antimatter wing, they focused on ensuring that the modification was done to the weapon light and not the firearm for a couple of reasons. First off, weapon lights can easily be attached to different guns. Therefore, you are now giving yourself a very nice thumb rest across several different guns by only having to purchase one unit. Secondly, if you are somebody in law enforcement or maybe private security, you might have a department policy that does not allow modifications to your firearm. Since this attachment modifies the weapon light of your firearm, you are not violating your department policy and because it works with Kydex and duty holsters, you're gonna be able to use this in the field with no issues. Now, if you're watching this video, I imagine that they are most likely already sold out based on the feedback that we received from our Instagram post about these. Um, if you're able to hop on their website and you're able to get one, I definitely recommend doing so as I think these are a game changer for sure. All right guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Um, the Antimatter Industries guys put together a really good FAQ section on their website. So if there's something that I missed, definitely check out their website so you can get your answers there. Um, also, let us know what you think about this new offering from their team. Um, is it like the scope switch and it's something that you think is innovative and you definitely wanna purchase or is it something that you're probably just gonna live without? Um, as always guys, we do appreciate you checking out the video and we appreciate you taking the time to leave us some kind words. Uh, big thanks to Ben, Alex, Arius, and Brad with Antimatter Industries and tactical development. Uh, we appreciate them giving us these units for the video uh, and for coming all the way out here to Vegas to share them with us a couple months back. Thanks again guys for watching and as always we'll see you in the next one.